Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Spokio to find information of people you are searching for. Let's say you work as an HR and then you found someone and you would like to know more about that person or you simply just want to know about your old friends but you don't really know how to search them, you can use Spokio to find their phone, their address, etc. When using Spokio, these are the things that you can use to search for a person. You can input their name, their email, their phone number, and also their address. And here are the things that you can find when you are searching for someone with Spokio. You can get their contact information, their location history, their family and associates, their social media accounts, their personal details, their wealth data, as long as their criminal records. But not all of these informations are free, so if you would like to get the whole features of Spokio, you will have to upgrade to their paid account. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what you can find if you're using the free account. And now I'm going to try to find someone with the name. So I'm typing out John Smith as a person I'm searching for. I know it's not a very specific name, but I'm just going to show you how Spokio work and how much records can they show for us. And as you can see, these are the results of the people with the name John Smith. Apparently, there are 184,209 people with the name of John Smith. They're found in California. You can see more details on each result. As you can see, there are numbers besides each name. And what it means that it's the age of the person on the result. And you can also see their address their phone numbers along with the relative that they have. To narrow down the search, you can also click on this all filter button and what it does, it's going to give you a pop-up menu that you can fill. For example, if you know John Smith's middle name, you can just go ahead and type out over there. And then if you already know the age, you can also select from the range of age over here. And then let's say that you don't know the address, but you know the state they're in. You can also go ahead and click the all states and change it to the state that you know. Or if you know the relative, you can also narrow your search down by inputting the narrative name of the person you're looking for. As you can see, the numbers has narrowed down from 118,000 to 7,000. Still a lot, but it at least it narrows down. Now the result only shows people with the name of John Lee Smith because that is the middle name that I inputted into the search box. And also the result only shows me John Lee Smith in the age range of the filter that I've already selected before. If you would like to see the detail of each person, so you can just go ahead and click see result button and then you will see more detail of that person. You can see that some of the words that are shown here are blurred out and there are also a unlock profile button. These exist because I am not using the premium account or the paid account. So with the free account, these are the things that we can get. We can only see a hint of where he lives. We also know that Johnny Smith is wearing Gmail as his email address and also we can see a tiny bit of his phone number. Again, if you would like to access the full detail, you'll have to go ahead and upgrade your profile. If you scroll down, you will see that they also provide you a brief explanation of where they live and what that person is doing on their current home. For example, it shows that in Mason City, John lives in that home. And then in the Mason City, John has been associated with this PO box since 2011. It sort of give you a history of where they've been living. You can also see the historical record of John Lee Smith. There are also these menus that shows you the amount of phone number and email that John Lee Smith have or the address that they have been into or the amount of social media account that they have. As for the court record, you can see what kind of stuff they have done or in which court they have associated with. 
Now I'm going to try to find a very long lost friends that I've had around like several years ago. I'm going to try and type out his full name. I hope that Spokio will find him for me. And here are the results for my friend's name. I don't see any profile that matched to his. Maybe it's because he doesn't live in the state anymore or something. I don't really know. It's been long since I talked to him. But my theory is if that person does not live in the state, you might not be able to find their profile. Since I'm unable to determine whether these profiles are accurate or not because I cannot find my friends, I'm going to try out and search whether we can find a profile of a celebrity or not. And here I'm going to use Benedict Cumberbatch as my examples and let's see how the result goes. As you can see, here are the results. I guess celebrities' profile are protected so you can't also search any profile of a well-known celebrity either. I'm going to try one more time with Taylor Swift and let's see if it also has the same result. Yep, I don't think you can access any celebrity's profile. Let me try it one last time by entering the relative name of the celebrity. As you can see, it's still a big no-no. And I'm going to test out my theory about whether you can find someone outside of the state or not. Over here, I'm going to insert the name of my friends that live in Asia. And I'm going to try to search her name. And we're going to see how the result goes. As you can see, this one is even worse than the one with the celebrity names on it. It has no result at all. So I guess there is no one in the state with the name of the one that I just put into the search box. And also, it just shows that my theory is correct, that the name that you can search for in Spokio are only the people who live in the States. If you would like to know the pricings of the paid account in Spokio, here are the pricing that they offered. You can choose whether you want to have the membership plan for one month or three months, you can also pay with credit card, PayPal, etc. And the things you will get if you use the paid account are full address, email address, family name, etc. And that's it for the tutorial. That's how you can try to find someone with Spokio. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.